Hey guys, it's Chike here. Um, thought I would give you a quick review of what I thought of The Walking Dead this week, which was uh, entitled Slab Town. Uh, the thing about The Walking Dead in the past few weeks has been it started off with a real bang, you know? You had Michonne missing her sword, having to get it back. You had Rick kind of being a good leader again. You had basically the group reuniting and just killing the, um, the Terminus people. Um, or as I like to call them, termites, because they devour anything in their path and they scuttle away when things get bad. <laughs> um, so, upon the conclusion of that storyline, I was really excited this week to know that uh, the next episode was going to revolve around Beth. Um, and I'm going to be completely honest with you. I have a man crush on... Uh, Tyler James Williams, who was on Everybody Hates Chris now, because he outacted Emily Kinney in this episode. Um, you really felt for him when he lied so that Emily Kinney could not be blamed for giving uh, another patient in the hospital the wrong drug um, when she did that. Um, Emily Kinney has this weird thing that she does that's both the thing I like and I dislike. She has a lot of vulnerability. And in the character of Beth, when she displays that in different points in this episode, I find it both to be a realistic reaction and a not-so-realistic reaction. For instance, when the cop was saying that Beth was playing a role in being a part of the hospital uh, with the doctor and the police officers in helping out the way she did, but out there in the real world that she was nothing, and Beth had that quizzical look on her face that basically was like, oh, yeah, I guess in here I do serve a purpose, and I don't feel very capable out in the real world. I'm like, what is wrong with you? You're an idiot. Yes, you were capable out in the real world. You saw yourself helping out Daryl against the walkers when you and he had your last adventure. Why would you Why would you start doubting yourself? There's no reason to doubt yourself. You become a slow, evolving badass. And by believing that you're a slow, evolving badass, you shouldn't be taking crap from this police cop who's been in this building who knows how long. And so that was really irritating to me. I also like the idea that, uh, I'll call him Chris, but I know that's not his real name. Tyler James Williams' character uh, and Emily Kinney tried to break free of the hospital, and at least he got out, but he injured his leg. Um, and, you know, her having to be continually trapped in there wasn't really that entertaining for me. Uh, watching Beth be trapped in that hospital again, but the nice revelation that they found Carol at the end of the episode was kind of good. So I'm pretty mixed on this episode, and I'd be really curious as to know what everybody's thoughts are on this Beth solo outing. And I have to say, I am not at all excited about watching the military group with, um, crap, Maggie and Glenn, uh, to next Sunday, I don't really think that that's going to be very riveting because we all know that Eugene is going to die next week. He has to. In order for us to be like, you idiot, you pinned your hopes on everyone, uh, in order for that sentence to become reality, Eugene needs to die, and I think he's going to die next week. I haven't read the comics, so I don't know who lives and who dies, but I'm saying to you, Eugene is a very careless survivor, and nothing would give me more pleasure than to see his neck eaten by a zombie. Um, and I hope I get to see that next week. In the meantime, I want to know your comments and thoughts on this week's episode, because, like I said, I didn't like it very much. I hope you guys found it more enjoyable 
than I did. Um, I also think that Rick, in addition to stepping up as the leader, needs to give more of the leadership weight over to somebody else. Maybe, who would I give it to? Let me think about this. Oh, yeah! I give it to Morgan whenever he shows his ass up in the mid-season finale. So when that happens, give it to Morgan. Give that leadership up to Morgan because he deserves it. And um, above all, kill the damn priest. He's so annoying. All right. I will see you guys next week. Enjoy your week. Bye, guys.